If the dam breaches at the Octibaha County Lake, it could also impact several homes in Clay County. Our Quentin Smith speaks with county leaders to find out more about their action plan. He joins us live in the studio with more. Quentin. Yes, you know, Scott, earlier today, Clay County deputies went into the affected neighborhoods, handing out flyers and letting residents know what they should do if the dam breaches. EMA Director Tory Williams says the western part of the Clay County, in particular the Cedar Bluff and Moon Valley areas, will be impacted the most. Now, if the dam does breach, a code alert will be sent out letting residents know they need to evacuate. There are multiple storm shelters set up all throughout town. Williams says there are roughly 50 to 80 homes in the area that could be impacted from the flood. At this time, no one knows what is going to happen with the dam. However, Williams says it's still a good idea to be proactive just in case. Have plans. I know we push that all the time. Um, have an evacuation plan. If you plan on staying, make sure you contact somebody that is um, a family member or a friend that is not in that area and let them know that you're staying. So whenever, if, if the area that you're in is affected, um, then somebody will know that you were down in that affected area. Lord forbid if something actually happens to your residents. So we'll know that, hey, we do need to start looking um, for somebody or someone. In the event that the dam breaches, Williams says they will close Highway 50 and possibly Highway 45 alternate. If residents have to evacuate, those with pets can drop them off at the West Point Clay County Animal Shelter. Now, for anyone in the affected areas who does not have the code red alert and would like to sign up, just visit our website at WCBI.com.